Hi, David Campanile here, owner of Campanile Law, located in the state of New Jersey. We handle estate planning and probate. So today's topic is going to be about where you should not store your estate plan. But before we dive into that, if you have any questions pertaining to estate planning or probate and you want to schedule a free strategy session over the phone with me, head on over to njestateattorney.com right now to schedule a day and time that works best for you. So... This topic really came to me when I was meeting with a client who came in, brought me their file, brought me their, you know, a Redwell binder of all their estate plan documents and had me going through everything. And uh, I just asked him point blank, you know, where are you storing your documents? And he said to me, uh, the client came to me and said, hey, I'm storing these in my safe. Um, and I was like, okay, you know, uh, so we got through, created their plan, client came in and signed everything, and I handed over the binder, and I advise all of my clients what to do um, and where to not store their plans. So when I give you my binder, it comes in a little half inch to one inch white binder, uh, nothing that you're spending tons and tons of money on, um, I'm not upcharging you for the binder because you know what, at the end of the day, how many times are you really going to look at your estate plan? And, uh, the, so really let's just dive into this, but the first place that you should not store your estate plan. And I hear this from a lot of people that come in because attorneys are retiring. Uh, and, uh, there is a misconception in the state of New Jersey but the number one place where not to store your estate plan is with your attorney. Now, why do I say that? Number one, we do not need to file our estate plans with the state, the county, the town, or anyone. Estate plans stay private until you pass away, and then your will becomes public knowledge. Your power of attorney uh, will be provided to your health care provider or to a financial institution, uh, if you have a financial advisor, they're going to make you sign their own power of attorney. Um, your living will will be used at the hospital. So these things really don't become public knowledge. I can't file an Oprah request on your general power of attorney or a durable power of attorney and get that information. So why would an attorney want to hold on to your documents? And that's a great question. So originals have been kept with attorneys locked up. And that is something that I grew up with. Um, but that's not how I run my firm. Uh, and the reason attorneys will really do this is it is a way to get when you pass away to get the family to come back and use them for the probate. If changes need to be made, uh, change, uh, to come back to the attorney, this is a way to, for the attorney to really just, you know, continuously get work from that one client. Um, and the thing about estate planning that all clients don't really understand is, yes, we're building relationships with you, with our clients, but uh, at the end of the day, this isn't, um, you know, an on again, like this isn't a relationship that tends to continue as time passes from the creation of your estate plan. Um, and uh, as time passes, we tend to forget about the attorney. Uh, I always try to stay in contact with my clients if that's via email, if it's a newsletter, if it's a phone call, uh, just to keep the lines of communication open, just so people understand that, hey, look, I am here if you need me. Um, people change their phone numbers, they change their emails, they change their addresses. So um, one reason I don't hold on to anything, what I do do is I scan a copy of the estate plan in, everything is held on the computer, but you walk out with the originals, you walk out with the certified true copy. There, It really is no reason if you don't want to, to come back, um, unless it's to update things because, or you had a change of circumstances, but um, you walk out with all the originals. So storing your originals with your attorney the first place I wouldn't do it. Attorneys are retiring. Attorneys pass away. Somebody buys out the practice. Somebody takes over the practice. Um, and they may not be communicative with you. They may not uh, want to turn things over. So if your attorney 
requires that original stay with them. Be very adamant that you want your originals. You want your file to go with you. The second place that you should not store your estate plan is in a safety deposit box. Now you're probably going, David, this is a safe place to put it. Yes, it is. I'm not going to deny that. We put a lot of valuables in there, but why you shouldn't put it in a safety deposit box is because it is safe. Now think of this. When you go into your into the bank and use a safety deposit box, you have to show uh, a valid ID. You have to have the key. And they have to match the name on the ID with the name that they have on file or the couple names that are allowed to access that safety deposit box. So let's say you pass away and your executor tries to go into that safety deposit box. They show, uh, because they you told them their your estate plan was there, they show their ID and it does not match up. The bank does not have to let that individual in. Now what happens is now the ex executor or someone on the family's behalf has to go get an attorney to file a motion with the court, with the surrogate court, to say, look, we need a court order that forces you to open, forces the bank to open the safety deposit box. Now, we all understand and know that the court does not operate and move as quickly as we want them to. So this isn't something that's gonna happen in a day or even a week. This can take months. This could take, as long as the court really wants it to take, um, it's all in their hands. So a safety deposit box, if you're storing your estate plan there, causes an unnecessary delay into going into your probate process. It could even cause an unnecessary delay because your power of attorney is in there. Your living will is in there. Those documents are in there and you don't have the mental capacity or the ability to go get them. And now you're kind of stuck. The person in charge doesn't have the documents that are needed. So place number two, do not store it in a safety deposit box. The third place that you should not store a estate plan is in your own personal safe. Now, I say this, again, you're saying, David, this is a safe place. I understand that. But who knows the combination to your safe? You, maybe your spouse, maybe a child, if they're an adult child, not too many people because you don't want that to become public knowledge. Now, if you have a safe, I'm not against it, uh, you owning a safe, but if your estate plan's in there, make sure somebody else besides you and your spouse knows the combination to get in there. Write it down, put it somewhere, tell the person that, hey, look, if something happens to me, the combination to my safe is here so you could get my estate planning documents because if it's in a safe and something happens to you, it could become costly uh, to break into that safe to get those documents. So now you're probably saying, David, this is where, you know, we've been told to store things for decades. Where should we store them? It's in a binder. And here's the thing about when I create my estate planning documents. There are no personal identifiers in there. You don't have a social security number. We don't have bank accounts. We don't have private information. It's names, it's addresses. These are things that are basically on the internet today. What do I tell people? Put it on the bookshelf. Put it on a shelf where, you know, or in your office on a shelf and say, look, when in doubt, my estate plan is right over there. So somebody can grab it and go. Um, so I hope you found this video informative. To summarize it, the three places we don't want to store our our estate plan one at your attorney's office two in a safety deposit box and three in your personal safe if you know somebody who may be contemplating estate planning or probate share this video with them uh, if you have questions pertaining to this topic or any other topics in estate planning or probate and you want to schedule a free strategy session over the phone with me head on over to njestateattorney.com and schedule a day and time that works best for you as always, my name is David Campanile. I'm the owner of Campanile Law, located in the state of New Jersey. We handle estate planning and probate.